Now is a great time to rethink transactions. Already today, payment possibilities have transformed expectations. People are used to finding and buying everything online. They expect to pay abroad as easily as at home. And increasingly, they are using their mobiles in an innovative way, like to store virtual train tickets. And now we are seeing new systems like contactless payments and digital wallets to make paying for your morning coffee as straightforward as stirring in the sugar. These payment systems matter. Our economy is becoming ever more dependent on seamless communication across digital networks. Within a few years, some say over one retail euro in ten will be spent online. We must support this incredible pace of change. And that is why we have just consulted on card, electronic and mobile payments. Let me tell you my vision. It's that people across Europe can easily complete electronic and mobile payments, whichever mobile operator or payment service provider they use. It's that Europeans can move freely, transact freely and pay freely across borders. Because paying for that coffee should be simple whether it is a coffee latte or a coffee verkeerd. And overall, it's that payment systems don't stand in the way of online innovation, but promote and stimulate it. We are not yet there. These days, often the only option to pay online is a credit card. Is that really the most effective solution, when over one in three Europeans can get the internet on their mobile? We are seeing some progress. Some are trying out innovative ideas, like those digital wallets I mentioned. But these experiments are not yet even nationwide, still less Europe-wide. Before we can make that leap, we need the benefits to be clear both to consumers and merchants. Easier to use, easier to manage and adding value all round. How do we do that? Here are five areas I think we need to look at. First. Often mobile pay payment systems don't talk to each other. The industry needs to overcome those interoperability issues. Remember that the very concept of the internet is built on cooperation, standardization and a common language. Second, innovative payment solutions face huge obstacles to entering the European market. Sometimes even successful national systems don't make it beyond the border. And third, we need the relevant players to find a financing model that works, one that offers a good deal for consumers while allowing large-scale deployment of mobile payment infrastructure. Fourth, we need technology to mature, in particular for security. To build trust, a system must be demonstrably hacker-proof. We should learn lessons from the recent misfortunes of some payment systems. And fifth, if we really want people to use their mobiles for payments abroad, we need to tackle outrageous data roaming charges. My recent proposal on roaming, now polit politically agreed by European legislators, tackles this problem at source. First by imposing caps on data charges, then by injecting needed competition into the market. Overall, with these elements, we can achieve the dream of an EU-wide payment market. And I'm glad to have so much industry support for that, with significant efforts and commitment to cooperate and overcome barriers. With the magic ingredients of interoperable solutions based on standards, open and accessible markets and competition, we can deliver innovation. Then we can deliver change that boosts the online world and improves the lives of every European. I look forward to hearing the outcome of industry discussions, and I hope they are truly about innovation, alignment and in-depth fact-finding. Because by working together to explore new frontiers, we can achieve a sustainable and efficient payment world. This issue is going up our agenda. We shall be discussing mobile payments at our next annual Digital Agenda Assembly. So be assured that your discussions will help shape our future policies.